Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. His Majesty praised the positive outcomes that resulted from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa's visit to Qatar, which affirms both countries' keenness to enhance brotherly ties and bilateral cooperation in order to benefit both countries and their peoples. The Emir of Qatar welcomed the visit of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and added that it will contribute to strengthening bilateral relations. The call also included discussions of topics regarding regional affairs. As part of the official visit to Qatar, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met today with the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, at the Emir Diwan in Doha. During the meeting, His Royal Highness stressed that both Bahrain and Qatar's commitment to advancing bilateral cooperation will continue to facilitate promising opportunities and strengthen joint working between the two countries. His Royal Highness noted that the advancement of these ties will play a pivotal role in further supporting wider GCC integration. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Thani, the Deputy Emir, His Highness Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani, personal representative of the Emir Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser Al Thani, Prime Minister and Minister of Interior and a number of senior Qatari officials attended the meeting. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, along with a number of senior Bahraini officials, also attended the meeting. During the meeting, His Highness the Emir of Qatar welcomed His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to Qatar, praising the strength of long-standing relations between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince conveyed His Majesty the King Hamad's best wishes to the Emir of Qatar and its people and expressed his hopes for the country's further prosperity and development. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince emphasized the importance of cooperation between GCC countries, which is a vital component in ensuring the GCC countries to the unified in its approach to the various challenges facing the region and the Crown Prince also highlighted the importance of further building on integration efforts to ensure that GCC con continues to succeed and is in position to compete among other global blocs. The Crown Prince went on to note that continued efforts to strengthen the GCC as an entity reflects member states' shared belief in a common destiny and the strategic importance of the regional bloc. In this regard, His Royal Highness noted the central importance of protecting the pillars of security and stability within the GCC and achieving the aspiration of greater prosperity and substantial development shared by the region's leaders and citizens. His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, Amir of the State of Qatar, then hosted a lunch banquet in honor of His Royal Highness and the accompanying delegation. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today arrived in the State of Qatar for an official visit which will include a meeting with the Emir of State of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. Upon arrival, His Royal Highness accompanied by the representative of His Majesty the King, Hamad for Charity and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, and a number of ministers and officials, was received by Deputy Amir of the State of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, and the minister in attendance and to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Qatari Minister of Culture and Sports, Salah bin Ghanim Al Ali, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressed pleasure in visiting Qatar and, and meeting the Emir, which reflects the strong bonds between the two nations and ongoing efforts to advance GCC, Arab and Islamic cooperation. He highlighted that His Majesty King Hamad's commitment to advancing bilateral cooperation across the GCC under Prince's successful partnership in a range of areas and that intensified collaboration its paramount to addressing regional challenges. He noted that his visit follows on form 
the recent visit of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and remarked that the exchange of visit demonstrates Bahrain's commitment to continue building on the strong Bahraini Qatari ties in order to achieve the GCC's shared goals of advancing stability and prosperity across the region. The Bahraini delegation accompanying His Royal Highness the Crown Prince includes the representative of His Majesty the King, for Charity and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa, Minister of Interior Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Minister of Finance Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Minister of Forks, Municipalities and Urban Planning, Assam Khalaf, a President of the Court of the Crown Prince Sheikh Khalifa bin Daij Al Khalifa, Private Security to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Sheikh Abdullah. Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, Director General of the First Deputy Prime Minister Office, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Chief Executive Officer of Bahrain's Economic Development Board, Khalid al Ramehi, the Advisor of Media Affairs at the Court of the Crown Prince Isa Al Hamadi, Executive Director of Protocol at the Court of the Crown Prince Assam Al Jassim, the Charge of Affairs of the Bahraini Embassy in Qatar, Nasser Futami. The Bahraini parliamentary delegation concluded today the official visit to Thailand, during which they held a number of meetings. The delegation was seen off by the chairman of the Bahraini Thai Friendship Committee, a number of Thai parliament members, and Bahrain's ambassador to Thailand, Adel Sater. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mullah, asserted an increase in the number of joint projects between Bahrain and Thailand, noting the historic relations between the two countries. He affirmed Bahrain's firm stance towards Thailand and the importance of maintaining its security and stability. The Bahraini delegation also agreed to coordinate and unite its parliamentary stances with Thailand in the following international parliamentary events. The delegation discussed means of cooperation between the two countries, representatives' councils, 
to implement the outcomes of the meeting with the President of the National Legislative Assembly of Thailand. The meetings also discussed terrorism and ways to combat terrorist organizations that aim to threaten countries' unity and security. The representative speaker commanded the contribution of the Thai community in Bahrain to the comprehensive development process, highlighting the role of Thailand's ambassador to Bahrain and reinforcing the strong ties. The Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, chaired the weekly meeting today where the Council approved a proposal to amend the con Constitution of the Kingdom of Bahrain and its explanatory memorandum. The amendment aims to maintain the security and stability of the Kingdom's support, military bodies and provide high living standards for citizens. The meeting also approved three proposals regarding the Code of Conduct of the Shura Council, Penal Code and Traffic Law and the Council then approved a draft law regarding transferring convicts from Bahrain to India. The Minister of Finance, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, visited today the industrial zone of Ankara Industrial Board. He toured the area, accompanied by the board's president, Nur al-Din The area includes 270 factories and provides job opportunities for over 35,000 people. The minister confirmed that Turkey has taken large strides in industrial development, expressing keenness to enhance cooperation in this field and raise the volume of commercial exchange between the two countries. Sheikh Ahmed asserted the importance of exchanging official visits between the two countries to expand fields of joint cooperation in economic and financial fields. He noted the important role of institutions in the public and private sectors in Bahrain in hosting meetings with their Turkish counterparts to exchange experiences and ideas about the best means to create joint projects and investments in the near future. Türkiye için ülkemiz için son derece önemli. This visit is not only important for us in the area, but also for Turkey as a whole. Bahrain and Turkey share history, beliefs, and many other things. For this reason, we are honored to have strong ties with Bahrain and we seek to develop these relations in the industrial field. It was a very important visit for us because uh, nowadays we know that Bahrain is a very friendly country and uh, we would like to improve our business relationships in Bahrain and uh, we are pleased to uh, introduce them our production and design capabilities. We hope that we can we uh, have them in our facilities in more detail and tell, tell them about our capabilities in more details, but I, uh, I feel that it's a good start uh, as a visit.